Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading session, the 7th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, where are we positioned today? Asian markets overnight. Let's start off with the Asian session, the Shanghai higher. The Nikkei slightly lower, okay. The Hang Seng certainly feeling the uh, the pain there, certainly uh, under under pressure, okay. So, in terms of uh, the U.S. market, certainly under pressure again overnight, okay. To a large extent, the Nasdaq certainly under pressure, although it is uh, starting to uh, find some support. In terms of economic news overnight, North Korea obviously in the background. Qatar situation certainly escalates to a large extent overnight, given the fact that the Saudis. I said they're going to uh, apply additional sanctions, etc. So that will be interesting as to uh, what happens there. In terms of uh, data this morning, overnight, nothing really of any major importance other than crude oil stocks. Certainly uh, the uh, supply side, certainly coming in uh, lower than expected and therefore as bullish for oil. So bear that in mind. Also, we just had some comments from Russia as well, saying that they are willing to uh, sit together and come to some sort of agreement with regards to uh, obviously the oil supply situation and the uh, to obviously taming the oil supply got and therefore forcing prices higher in terms of german data this morning the german factory uh, industrial production much stronger than expected french data stronger than expected as well trade balance industrial output current account etc all improving uh, spanish industrial data certainly coming in on the stronger side again uh, uk house prices came in weaker european retail sales came in weaker Manufacturing, industrial and uh, trade balance all came out weaker for the UK, but that certainly seems to be helping the FTSE, given the fact that uh, sterling has fallen back down below 1.29, and that obviously has uh, altered expectations of any potential rate hike, and that certainly has been pushed back altogether. So uh, we'll force Mr Carney certainly to be on the dovey side, and that in and of itself certainly will help the risk uh, sentiment uh, move higher as well. So just bear that in mind, interesting uh, uh, insight there. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the status quo. Well, obviously, the G20 meeting we're looking forward to, Mr. Trump and Mr. Putin meeting as well. What are the repercussions of that? We have um, a GDP estimate for the UK. Then we have NFP day, average weekly hour, hours, uh, hours and earnings will be the main focus. Uh, average hourly earnings is really going to be the main, main focus. NFP numbers, obviously, is going to be important as well. Canadian data, we have unemployment rate, uh, BOE, Mr. Carney speaking as well, that could be a game changer. Obviously, uh, people are buying the FTSE now, anticipation that Mr. Carney will certainly slant towards the Dovey side. That will be interesting to see what happens there. Fed monetary policy report. And that's it really, folks. Okay, that's it. That's it for the day. Okay, let's see where we are technically speaking, looking at the German DAX here, double bottom. Therefore, bias is bullish. Daily chart at the moment is holding that diagonal trend line. Therefore, bias is bullish. So my interpretation, German DAX goes higher, especially given the fact that the euro or the bonds, should I say, the bonds certainly making a base and therefore looking to move higher and therefore euro looking to move lower. Euro USD already has started to move lower. It's already started its descent. You can see here the pivot high is 1.1425, currently at 1.1415. Okay, so euro already started its uh, descent. In terms of the French CAC, Yesterday's bottoming tail certainly expected to hold previous support equal previous resistance equal support certainly expected to hold 60 minute chart again like I said you've got a double bottom there on the French CAC we're looking to push higher up to uh, 5200 on the French CAC that's my expectations in terms of the FTSE 100 like you said like I said before it certainly seems like the uh, individuals are expecting Mr Carney certainly to uh, slant towards the dovey side and therefore that's going to help the FTSE a weaker sterling obviously helps the FTSE overall in all and therefore, you are looking at a potential rally here on the FTSE 100. So certainly a rally up to 7347 is what we witnessed. So that should be interesting to see how the market reacts there. Okay, so keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the FTSE 100 from that perspective. Okay, that certainly remains the uh, status quo. Okay, so that's the FTSE 100 for you. Again, in a nutshell, it's all about sterling. Keep an eye on sterling. In terms of the euro stocks, let's move to the euro stocks now. Okay, so Euro stocks double bottom. Uh, that's on the smaller time frames. Daily chart is holding gap fill. You've got uh, bottoming tail there as well. 60 minute double bottom. 
and the 10 minute chart really is just consolidating from my perspective and looking to test that 3470 zone. Okay, so that certainly is a summation of European equities. Uh, I think I'll leave it on that note. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and be sure to visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.